Hello everyone, I am Prajal Agarwal and today we are going to look at this problem flip or compress. This problem is written as easy medium on code chef and you require the basic knowledge of greedy and of some observations to solve this. So guys, if you haven't read the problem yet, go back and read it, try it out and come back and see the solution. With this, let's begin. In this problem, we are given a binary string s. So we are given a string with zeros and ones only. In, on this string, we can apply two operations. The first is flip. So basically, we will choose some index i belonging to this string. So let us consider a string. Now let us say that we choose some i. Let us say we choose the 0. So now we will flip this 0 to 1. Or if it is 1, then we will flip it to 0. So now let us say that we choose the 0. Then the new string will become 0, 0, 1 and all the remaining characters will remain the same. Now in the second operation we have compress. So let us consider a string. Now in this operation basically we will choose some substring such that all the characters in this substring are same and it is non-empty and we will replace all these ones with only one one. Basically, we will replace all these characters present in the substring with only one character. So the new string will become 0, 0 and we will use 1, 1 to represent this substring and all the remaining characters will remain the same. Now let us say in the new string obtained, we choose this substring. So all the characters are 0. So the new string will become 0, 0, 1 and we will use 1, 0 to represent this string substring and all the remaining characters remain the same. So now our goal is to convert all the characters present in this string to either 0 or 1. So all the characters have to be equal to 0 or all the characters should be 1. When we apply this compress operation, the size of the length of the string will decrease. It can remain the same if we choose a substring of size 1. So now we need to use these two operations to convert all the characters in this string either to 0 or 1 and we have to find the minimum number of operations. In the constraints, we are given some test cases from 1 to 10 to the power 5. The size of the string can be from 1 to 10 to the power 6. Now let us look at some test cases to better understand the problem. So in the first test case, we are given 1, 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1. So in this, we can simply apply compress operation over here. So we will get 1, 0, 1, 1 and then we will apply flip operation over here. So we will get 1, 1, 1, 1. Since all the characters are equal and we did one operation here and one operation here. In total we did two operation. Hence our output is 2. In the second test case we are given this string. So we will do the same thing. We will apply compress operation over here and then the new string that we will get is this and we will apply a flip operation over here. So the new string obtained is this. All the characters are same hence the output is 2. Now another way to look at is we can actually apply two flip operations on these zeros. So we will get we will apply two flip operations. The number of operations remain 2, however the final strings that we obtain are different. But in the problem it is given that the condition is that all the characters should be same at the end. There is no constraint on the length. So the output is 2. So guys try to do the same thing for the third test case yourself. So in the problem we are given a string s consisting of only zeros and ones. And we can apply either this flip operation which means Choose some character and flip it. Change 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. The second is compress. Which means choosing some substring and removing all the characters from this substring and replacing it with only one character from that substring. The only condition is that the substring should be non-empty and all the characters present in the substring should be equal. So our goal is to make all the remaining characters equal to either 0 or 1. So Let's say we get s dash which is our final after applying some number of operations then this s dash should either be all zeros 
or it should be equal to all ones and we need to do this in minimum number of operations and print it so now the first question that you should ask is is it possible to convert every string into these kinds of string so since we have this flip operation the answer to this question is yes so let us consider any string then we can choose all the zeros and flip it then the string that we will obtain is consist of all the ones similarly we can actually convert all the strings to zero all the characters to zero so the final string that we will obtain will consist of all zeros and we can take the minimum of these two so the answer that whether is it possible to convert every string to these kinds of string is yes because we have this flip operation so now let us see how we can use this compress operation so let us say that we are given a string that has substrings with all ones and all zeros now in these kinds of string if we use only flip operation then the number of operations will be very high so in these kinds of string we will choose all these substrings and convert them into a single character so this will get convert to zero this will get convert to one and this gets convert to one now we have applied three compress operations and we can use one flip operation to convert this zero to one so overall we will use four operations to convert this to one 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 and all the characters will be equal so as you can might have noticed how we can use flip and compress in combination to get the minimum number of operations so to approach these kinds of problem one of the best way is to write a brute force solution and then try some test cases and see some patterns these patterns will actually help you to determine when to use flip and when to use compress because sometimes it is optimal to use flip rather than compress and sometimes it is optimal to use compress so you need to find some observation in this string in the given string s and you need to determine a specific pattern for solving these kinds of question moving on to the solution so in the problem we are given a string s and we can apply flip and compress operation such that the remaining characters are equal to 0 or 1 since we know that the remaining characters are 0 or 1 we can apply a greedy solution so let us take the first case in this case given the string s we try to convert all the string s to 0 and we have a second case that given a string s we will try to convert all the characters to 1 and we will take the minimum of these two which will be our answer so one of the obvious uh, observation that you might have noticed is that suppose we are converting all the characters to 0 then let us consider every substring containing 1 now if the length of this substring is greater than 1 then we should first compress this because in the other case will we we will end up flipping a large number of characters which is suboptimal so we should first compress this and then flip it so let's compress this the zeros will remain the same because doing anything to zero will actually increase our operation which which is also suboptimal so we will compress this substring now we have this substring of length one so if we compress this we will again get back one which is not optimal we can just flip this character and we will end up with a zero so we will copy it as it is over here we will compress this and we will copy this as it is and we have all these zeros in the middle now we will apply flip operation and the final string that we will get will consist of all zeros so basically this is our greedy solution so now let us say that we have a string s and we want the final characters to be equal to zero so we consider all the substrings of one and if the length of this substring is greater than one then we apply compress and flip else we just flip that current character so for all i equals zero to s zero to mod s if the current character is actually equal to one in this case then we have a variable counter which will count the length of the current substring else if c is 1 then we increment our answer by 1 else if c is greater than 1 which means that we need to apply compress first we increment our answer by 2 and this is our whole solution for greedy 
we can actually write a similar solution for given a string s and we want the final to be 1 we just change this to 0 so our current degree solution works something like this given a string s of zeros and ones let us say we try to convert this string s to 0 which means all characters should be equal to 0 at the end so we will iterate from the beginning and if the current character in the string s is equal to the character that we want then we just go ahead else we use this variable c to count the length of substring and if the length of this substring is equal to 1 we will just flip it else we will first compress it and then flip it hence we increase hence we will increase our answer by 2 we will do this at the end also for the last remaining suffix so now let us consider a case let us say that we are given a string something like this so now let us calculate the value of check of s comma 0 which means we want the characters of string s to be equal to 0 so to do this we will consider all the substrings such that the substring contains only one so we will consider this this and this now we will use compress and flip with this substring because the length is greater than one so we have two operations for this substring since the length is one we will just use a flip operation and for this substring we will actually use a compress followed by a flip so the total number of operations are five now we calculate the check of s comma one which means we want the final characters to be equal to one to do this we consider the substrings with zeros we have two substrings we will use compress and flip in both so the total number of operations are 2 plus 2 equals 4 however there is a better answer in this case suppose we convert this 1 to 0 so the new string that we will obtain is and we will convert this 1 to 0 and then we have the remaining characters and now we will actually take this long substring use a compress operation and a followed by a flip operation then the answer that we get is we will use two operations here and one operation for this flip the answer that we get is three which is much more optimal than the method than the op answers given to us by the greedy now using this example we can actually derive an observation the observation is that if the current character is not is equal to the final character however the adjacent characters are not same then in that case it is better to flip this character to the character equal to its adjacent character and then take this substring and flip it compress it and flip it so our answer will actually reduce by one so suppose we are solving for s comma zero then in that case we will check for all zero whether it lies between two ones or not if it does we will first flip this zero and then we will take this whole substring compress it and flip it so our answer basically reduces by one now there is an edge case to this solution the edge case is that suppose we are given alternating zeros and ones and we are solving for s comma zero that means that we will check for zero whether the adjacent characters are equal to one or not so let us go to this zero you might think that since the adjacent characters are one we should flip this however this is not optimal for these kinds of cases why because in the initial example that we took the substrings that were given to us we were actually applying first compress operation then flip operation however when we are given alternating ones and zeros that means that the adjacent characters the adjacent substrings have length equal to one then in this case it is not required to apply the compress operation hence the optimal choice in this case is to do nothing just flip the adjacent if we are converting it to zero in the initial example we were actually saving one compress operation we were doing the exact number of flips however we were doing one less compress operation hence the answer was three so when we have alternating zeros and ones we just need to do nothing we just go to this greedy solution and this will give our answer however if we have something like this then for s comma zero for this zero we actually should apply the flip operation however for this zero we should not because the adjacent substrings are exactly equal to one hence it is optimal that we flip these two ones instead of 
flipping this one, then again applying compress operation and then again flipping whole. So at the end, let's incorporate these changes into our check function. Moving on to the implementation. So based on the observations discussed above, we need to add some conditions. So we will first iterate from 2 to n minus 2 and we will check that let's say we are solving for s comma 0 which means that the final character should be equal to 0. In that case we will check for all zeros that whether the adjacent characters are equal to 1 or not. If they are then we need to check that the length is greater than 1 or not. So in this case for the 0 the length is greater than 1 hence we will flip this 0 to 1 and then we will use compress operation to flip to compress and then flip everything. Now for this 0 the adjacent characters are 1 however the length is also 1 hence it is not optimal to flip this so we won't flip this. For this 0 we will flip this because the adjacent characters are 1 and the length of substring on the right side is also greater than 1. So we have these necessary conditions. Then we will apply our standard greedy approach discussed before to calculate our final answer. So overall we iterate over the string twice. So the complexity, the time complexity is equal to order of n and the space complexity is also equal to order of n. Here n is basically equal to the length of the string given to us. Moving on to the code. So first I have processed the input. Now I use this variable answer1 and answer2 to store the number of operations required to convert s to 0 and s to 1 respectively. Finally our final answer is basically the minimum of the two. Now we have our check function. So first we have to code the observation. So we check for all i from 2 to n minus 2 that whether the current character is equal to ch. ch is basically the final character that we want. So if the current character is equal to ch and the adjacent character is not equal to it, then we have to check that whether the left side or the right side, the length is greater than 1 or not. So to do that, we will just check the i minus 2th character. And if it is not the case, then we just flip the current character and increase our total operations by 1. Now we have a standard greedy approach. So let us say that we are solving for s comma 0, which means that we want our final solution to have all zeros. Then in this case, we will count all the substrings that have 1. And if the length is equal to 1, we just flip it. Else if it is greater than 1, we have to first compress and then flip it. So we add 2 to our answer. Finally, we return the total number of operations. So guys, this is pretty much the whole code. Try to code it yourself and if you face any issue, then come back and see it again. So guys, I hope you understood the problem clearly. If you have any questions, drop a comment in the comment section. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get our latest updates from CodeChef. Thank you and goodbye.